Hey, what's up, friends and loved ones? So, by now, I'm assuming most of you have seen the trailer for Persona 5 Scramble The Phantom Strikers. We definitely got some cool information out of it, and it really seems like they're doing a good job of blending the warrior-style gameplay with a lot of the things fans already love about Persona 5. I want it on record that if given the choice, I will totally be maining Yo-Yo Girl. So, yeah, we got some good stuff here. Gameplay showing off multiple characters, a bit of insight into the story, which does seem to take the form of an actual sequel, an ominous moment of, ooh, what's this? And even a release date, which honestly is faster than I expected. I'm definitely looking forward to The Phantom Strikers. But I started asking myself, just how does one make a Persona 5 scramble? And I think I figured out the recipe, so today I wanted to try and share it with all of you. So to start things out, you're gonna need two Persona 5s. You can use the PS3 or PS4 version, it really doesn't affect the taste. You're also gonna wanna grab yourself a box of Persona Q2 New Cinema Labyrinth, which is gonna give us some of that nice spin-off fluff. You might be familiar with this if you were a Persona 4 fan in the early 2010s. And lastly, you're gonna need a Warriors or Musou game. As you can see, I'm using Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U here, but really, anything will work. Dragon Quest Warriors, Fire Emblem Warriors, or if you're feeling really old school, sure, Dynasty Warriors will do just fine. Now, we're gonna wanna start out by cracking our two Persona 5s into a small bowl, so just go ahead and throw those in. Next is our Persona Q2. Open that up, make sure it's still good. Ugh, eh, whatever, it's fine. Since we're only doing two Persona 5s today, I'd say only add about one eighth of a cup. Then, like Takato channeling his inner salt bay, let's just add in a pinch of our Musou game for flavor. Let's mix all that together with a fork or tiny whisk until it's nice and smooth and ready to go. Now on your stovetop, we're gonna wanna get a non-stick disc or cartridge going over high heat. And I think whether you're preparing for the Switch or PS4, you're gonna wanna use about one tablespoon of unsalted space. So let's get that nice and melty and ready for our prepared scramble. I'm just gonna gently pour that into the center so it fills up all that space. Now you're gonna wanna carefully start scrambling your Persona 5, and once it starts getting a bit more solid, immediately drop the heat down to medium low, and start carefully folding the Persona 5 in on itself. You won't need to cook this very long. I personally don't like my Persona 5s to be too runny, so I might cook it a little bit extra. But remember, the most important step is to take it off right before it's done to your liking. Because the final and perhaps most crucial step is once it's on the plate, go ahead and let your Persona 5 rest for about a minute or so. This will ensure that your Persona 5 scramble is completely finished cooking. Luckily, you won't have to wait until next February to enjoy the one you just made, or like, August or whenever it's coming out in the West. And so there you have it, a very quick and easy Persona 5 scramble that you can make at home. Now I'm not sure if this is exactly how the folks at Atlas or Koei Tecmo prepared theirs, but I think this is a good, fluffy approximation of what we can expect from the final product that will hopefully tide you all over until then. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join me next week when I'll be teaching you all how to make a very special Persona 3 Moon Over Miami.